and welcome to Friday's video. I am going to do a tattoo tour. Is that the right word? Yeah, why not? Um, I'm going to talk to you all about my tattoos. I never think of myself as having a lot of tattoos, but I actually have eight now, so I thought it would be a good time to show you them and talk about them and um, all of that shebang. So this was my first tattoo. It was a Friday the 13th tattoo done by Stan Buckles at Freedom in Ipswich. And I got it because it's quite small. It was my first little adventure into tattooing and I didn't want to go too heavy too fast. So I got my little cocktail glass. Um, I used to be a cocktail bartender, as some of you will probably know. And so this was like a little memento for that. And it's, you know, what is your poison, that sort of thing. So. I like this one, it will always have some sentimental value to it because um, it's your first one and it's an adventure from then isn't it? That's the start of the addiction there. So next up we have my pineapple and the one on the other leg which I'll show you in a minute. They were done on the same day, they were done by Lauren Barfield. She was at Diablo Inc and she is now at Lucky 13, they are both in switch as well and this is my pineapple people find it really funny that I have a pineapple tattooed on me but they're one of my favorite fruits and they're just another nod to my time in the bar industry because we our bar is famous for our pineapple cocktails so that's that I really love the blue around the outside and the yellow has stayed in really well actually you can definitely tell I mean my legs are kind of the same color at the moment but you can definitely tell when my legs are paler that that is yellow still and I really love that. So next up we have my Flamingo. Please excuse my bruises, I bruise like a peach. Um, I got this, yeah, like I said, the same time as I got my pineapple. I used to blimmin' love Flamingos and they were another tiki nod. Ever since then I think Flamingos have come out every summer and they've kind of got a little bit tacky and a little bit overdone so I'm, at the moment I'm not super in love with this tattoo um, but I think once my legs have got more stuff on them it will blend in and I won't worry too much about it but yeah this is probably the only one that I have kind of regrets over and finally, for my legs, I have this cactus. This was done by Glenn, or Glynn, <laughs> I can't remember. Um, and he was at the Rockabilly Rave. They have a tattoo studio set up there. And I wanted to commemorate that. So this was done in the summer of 2015. All the others were done in 2015 as well. And um, yeah, it didn't heal amazingly. It's not the tattoo artist's fault at all. It happened to be that it was a stupidly hot summer and I worked on my feet all the time. So when you're on your feet, it's a lot harder to heal tattoos because they constantly have like blood pumping to them. So it was quite oozy and yeah, I don't know if you can see, but like the spines on this side, they're not stu super sharp, but I'm not that bothered. I'd love to get another cactus tattoo on me somewhere. I'm not sure where, but I don't know. Maybe you could suggest somewhere. Moving up to my arms finally, so we don't have to be in an awkward position. I then had my little ghosty tattoo. This was also done by Lauren, the same lady who did the flamingo and the pineapple. Um, and I had this done because i just got into a really dark stage in my life, this was done in 2016 and I just, yeah, I got through a really dark stage in my life and I was in the pub with Lauren and I was like, oh, I really would like a little ghost but not a scary ghost, something that reminds you that, um, I don't know, you shouldn't be scared of the dark stages, I suppose and um, I also love ghosts and paranormal things so it seemed a little bit fitting to to have him. I don't have him named or anything but he is the tattoo that most people ask me about um, which is kind of weird and I get a lot of compliments on it but yeah I, I really like him. Um, I'd like to get some more little ghosty stuff here as well. So after that one was done I had my anchor tattoo and 
this is something that I actually vlogged so I'll link a card to that but this was done by Lincoln at uh, Blink13 they were called something else but now I can't remember and basically I talked about it in the vlog but this is when and where my grandparents met and my granddad was in the navy and he did 25 years and he never had a tattoo so I had one for him <laughs> um yeah I this is like really sentimental and my mum is actually planning on having that tattooed as well uh if she ever actually plucks up the courage to go to the studio so continuing on this arm I then got my everything is temporary this was the longest tattoo I've sat for this was three hours and it was also done by Lincoln who did my anchor and this is my big mental health tattoo so my motto of life is everything is temporary so if you are having a good time then you should revel in the fact that you're having a good time because you never know when that good time is going to end and when you're having a bad time equally you should just remember that everything is temporary and you will be happy again and the good times are just around the corner you just have to stick it out and um, a lot of people say it's really funny and ironic that I got everything is temporary permanently tattooed on me but um, I'm not permanent I am here for 80, 90, 100 years of this planet and I'm going to touch so many people's lives and me influencing someone else is just going to be temporary and come on I am, was an archaeologist my skin isn't here permanently one day I will just be a skeleton um, so yeah it is temporary really and um, it's, it's something that I've taught myself for five six seven years now so everything is temporary and finally we move on to my most recent piece this is my the start of my sleeve it's probably going to be um, a half sleeve and it's all botanical so these are my two dahlias I say dahlias my mum says dahlias what do you say down below I don't know and uh, it's done by Gemma Piper or the Pied Piper down at Ginger Tom's in Southampton and yeah we were going to do three but then we decided just to stick with two so I could add a different flower in here and then um, eventually all this will be covered in botanical things I am debating whether or not to have like a keyhole there which is in colour because I really like the idea of having a black and grey sleeve but then just like this little pop of colour so but that's a work in progress and that brings me to the end of my tattoo tour for the future I mean I really would love to be covered especially my limbs I'm not that fussed about like my chest area or my back I, I love back pieces but personally I never get my back out so I I'd kind of wouldn't see the point of it and I can't think of anything like a big scene that I would like um I really like patchworky tattoos as well, I just don't think that they work as a back piece. So yeah, I would love my thighs done, I would love my lower legs done, I'd love my knees done, but I'm absolutely pooping my pants over the thought of my knees because apparently it, it's the worst. Um, this was the worst for me, this was so painful. And um, I don't really have anything else to say. Uh, what was your favourite tattoo that I have? Do you have any tattoos yourself? I would love to talk more about that sort of thing down in the comments, so leave me a comment. Don't forget to like this video as well. Every like means that I am shown to the algorithm and that is always a good thing. And don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos every Tuesday and Friday, British Standard Time. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! Thank you.